I'm sure you all know that Australia has a huge mining industry. Now, the goal of my research is to make that industry more efficient by optimizing shipping schedules so that mining companies can load as much cargo as possible onto each ship. Now, one issue that occurs with shipping optimization is that ports have restrictions on draft, which is the distance from the waterline to the bottom of the ship. That ship in the picture is empty. If it were full, that entire dark red section down the bottom would be underwater. But if you overload a ship, it could end up running aground as it leaves the port. So it's very important that shipping schedules meet port safety rules on draft. Now, existing algorithms in academia don't actually consider the fact that draft restrictions vary over time. So they'd miss out on opportunities to load more cargo at high tide when there's more water available for the ship to sail in. On the other hand, the way ships are actually scheduled at ports in practice at the moment is just using pen and paper or simple tools like Excel. So humans can consider the fact that you can load more cargo at high tide, but it's a very complex problem for humans to solve. So they also don't end up finding the best possible solution. They just find a good enough solution. My approach basically combines the best of both worlds. So automation as well as time varying draft restrictions. I use a method called constraint programming, which searches through all the millions of possible combinations and uses constraints to quickly cut out sections of the search space to focus in on the best possible solution. We take into account safety rules on draft, as well as other safety rules at ports, such as how many tugs, small boats, are needed for each ship to help guide it in and out of the port, as well as making sure the ships don't sail too close together so they don't run into each other. Now, this research is already being used at Port Headland, Australia's largest port, and we compared our results to results produced by human schedulers at Port Headland. And we found that if our schedules were used instead, this would allow $150 million more cargo to be shipped from the port per year without hiring a single extra ship. Now, this doesn't just benefit the mining company's bottom line. It also reduces emissions, because we can ship the same amount of cargo per year with 12 less ship sailings between Australia and China. Now, that's like taking 10,000 cars off the road. And that's just the impact at one port. So it's clear that if this technology were taken up by more ports around the world, this could really change the world. And I hope that it will be used by more ports in future, both in Australia and globally. Thank you.